What is up you guys? This video is for everyone out there, friends, family, enemies. If you're out there watching, I wanted to challenge you to sign up for the next level. And what do I mean by that is I want you to go out and sign up for something that you are not sure if you're capable of. I'm going to go through today some tips on how to attack that next level goal. And I'll tell you a little bit about something I signed up for recently that is a little intimidating to me, but at the same time, I'm not afraid of anything. So without further ado, let's get into how to sign up and beat the next level. So what do I mean by signing up for the next level? What, what can you sign up for? I'm going to throw you guys an example. Something that I recently did is I went under contract on a house that's not built yet and I put it under agreement to purchase, uh, put down a small deposit and I don't have the money for this house yet. What this means is I have about six to nine months before the house is complete and I need to come up with a lot of money uh, to make this happen. Why did I do this when I don't have the money yet? I realized that by signing up for that, I am going to now be locked into getting that job done uh, or I risk losing my deposit. And the deposit was about $10,000. So not trying to lose that. Definitely going to go for avoiding that. And by putting yourself in a situation where your back is against the wall, I'm sure that's where you most often find yourself able to get the job done. I'm going to outline some of the things that I'm going to do in order to get there and hopefully you can use these for when you attack your big goal and whatever you decide to sign up for. The first thing I realized I needed to do in order to make this happen, and I've done this a couple times before, so I'm not just pulling this out of nowhere. I, I've actually purchased a couple houses when I didn't have the money yet, and I just worked my ass off to get there to make them happen by closing time. This is just on a much larger scale this time. But since my goal is financial, the, the things I need, realized I needed to do was map out where my income sources were and what they would need to look like by over the course of this next six to nine months in order to get to where I need to be. After I made a list of where my income sources are, I crossed out all of the lower end ones and decided I'm not putting any time into this stuff other than what will naturally happen. Because I know that the top ones are where a majority of my income is going to come from. So I would rather just hyper focus on these and really focus on those activities. Now, from there, I make a list of the daily activities I need to do for these things in order to accomplish the amounts that I need to get to. And in doing so, uh, it kind of puts a structure on the day. If something does not fit into this day in the way that I wrote it down to hit that goal, then guess what? It's not in that day, whether it's um, answering your, your cell phone, whether it's watching your Netflix show, whatever distractions you may have, if the things on that paper are not done that day, then you don't really do those distractions. Otherwise, you're never going to reach your goal. Now, a uh, secret that I use is not only do I write down what my day has to look like to hit the goal, I totally erase that and I think much bigger and I write down what my day needs to look like to hit 10 times that goal. That way, I know if I fall short and I only get to halfway of the 10 times goal, I'm still going to be super comfortable achieving the original goal. And the day, I'm going to be honest with you, it does not look as fun when you have to do 10 times as much as you were planning on. But a lot of times if you under plan, you're not going to succeed. So to break it back down is if your goals are financial or whatever they may be, you need to make a list of what your day needs to look like to hit those goals. And you need to think much bigger than you currently are. Write down what you can do on a higher scale to hit 10 times that goal and then execute that plan because that plan is the one that's going to get you to accomplish the lower level plan. And the last thing I'll say about signing up for a goal that you don't think you're ready for is just be conscious of your timeline. If you are tracking everything that's going on, whether you're trying to lose weight or save up money or whatever it may be, you need to pay attention to the timeline. If you can focus on what you need to do month by month, week by week, day by day, and just pull it backwards and reverse engineer that schedule. And then if you are tracking, if you hit those, 
and how you're doing as you progress, then you'll be able to adjust accordingly as you go through. Yeah, I definitely don't recommend slowing down if you had hit the gas hard, but if you're not hitting the goals that you had set originally and you're not on pace, then I highly recommend just ramping up everything you're doing and figuring out what's been going wrong and cutting out the distractions, keep ramping up, and you're gonna be able to get done what you wanna get done. If you have any big goals, you wanna reach out to me on maybe some ideas on how to take them down, let me know, I'm happy to help. Let me know what kind of big commitment you're gonna sign up for. And I am so excited to hear the progress we all make throughout this challenge. Wish me luck with my next six to nine months. And until next time, keep living free with JD.